Welcome to the third lecture on digital simulation. We will see two more examples to understand modified neural analysis. Okay, so example number three is given here. We have to write the MNA equations by inspection without writing steps. So the MNA equation is AX equal to Z. Matrix form is AX equal to Z, where A is a coefficient matrix, X is the variable vector, and Z is the right hand side vector. So, first we have to see what is the variable column vector. So, the variable column vector will have node voltages and current through independent voltage sources. So, the node voltages are V1 and V2 here because we have only two nodes, node 1 and node 2. So the variable volt node voltages are V1 and V2. Then the third entry will be the current through the independent voltage source. So the current through the independent voltage source is I V1. So this current is third entry is I V1. So this is the variable vector. Then the coefficient matrix A will be of size 3 by 3. Why? Because the size of the A matrix depends on the number of nodes and the number of independent voltage sources. We have two nodes here and one independent voltage source. So it is 2 plus 1, 3 by 3. Then within that 3 by 3 matrix, the 2 by 2 portion will be the G matrix corresponding to the two nodes, node 1 and node 2. So how to fill the entries in this G matrix or 2 by 2 matrix? The first row, first column position or this diagonal position will be sum of the reciprocals of resistances connected to node 1. So to node 1, 16 ohm and 2 ohm are connected. So the first entry will be 1 by 16 plus 1 by 2. So this will be the first diagonal element. Then the second diagonal element, second row, second column position is the sum of the reciprocals of resistances connected to node 2. So 2 ohm and 8 ohm are connected to node 2. So it is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8. So that is second row, second column position. Then first row, second column position, this off diagonal entry will be the determined by the element connected between node 1 and node 2. Between node 1 and node 2, this 2 ohm resistance is connected, so the entry will be minus 1 by 2. Negative of the reciprocal. Then between uh, this 2 and 1, again it is minus half. So we have written the G matrix by inspection. Then coming to the B matrix. B matrix is here. It is a 2 by 1 matrix. B matrix will be a 2 by 1 matrix. So the number of rows depends on the number of nodes. So there are two nodes. So there are two rows. Then the column corresponds to this IV1 or the dependent source V1. Dependent source V1. Sorry, independent voltage source V1. Not dependent, independent voltage source V1. So the independent voltage source V1 uh, is connected between node 1 and node 2. So the positive plate of the source is connected to node 1. So there is a plus 1 here at corresponding node 1. Negative plate of the source is connected to node 2. So this is minus 1. So the entry will be plus 1 and minus 1 here. Then the C matrix. Here the C matrix will be just transpose of this. So 1 minus 1. Then D matrix is a 1 by 1 matrix. D matrix will be 1 by 1 matrix because size of D matrix depends upon the number of independent voltage sources. So there is only one independent voltage source. So size of D matrix will be 1 by 1 and it is a 0 matrix. So this is how we can fill the entries of A matrix. So we got the values of A entries in the A matrix. We know the X matrix, then the right hand side is remaining Z matrix. So what are the entries in the Z matrix? Z matrix size will be 3 again 3 by 1 because there are two 
nodes and one independent voltage. The first two entry corresponds to node 1 and node 2. The value of independent current source coming into node 1. The independent current source coming into node 1 is 4 ampere. So first entry will be 4. Then second entry is independent current source coming to node 2. There is no independent current source coming into node 2. So it is 0. Then last entry corresponds to the current through the independent voltage source IV1. So that IV1, uh, the voltage source corresponding to IV1 is 10 volt. So you have to simply put the value here. The independent voltage source corresponding to IV1 is 10 volt. So the third entry is 10. So we got all the matrices A, X and Z. This is how we can write the uh, modified nodal analysis equations by inspection. We will see one more example to reinforce the concept. So this is uh, example 4. So first step is you identify the number of nodes in the circuit. So this is node number 1, node number 2, node number 3 and this is our reference node. So what will be the size of A matrix? Size of A matrix will be number of nodes plus number of independent sources. So there are three nodes other than the reference node. Then number of independent voltage sources. Number of independent voltage sources. There is only one independent voltage source. So it is 3 plus 1. So the size of A matrix will be 4 by 4. Then what is X matrix? X is the variable vector, column vector containing the variables. So the first three variables are unknown node voltage, V1, V2 and V3. Since there are three nodes, V1, V2 and V3 are the first three variables. Then the last variable will be the current through the independent voltage source. Current through the independent voltage source is say IV1. It is directed from positive to negative. So IV1 is the last entry. So this is the unknown variable vector. Then the right hand side Z matrix will be of size again 4 by 1. 3 nodes and 1 independent source. Uh, let us fill the entries of A matrix first. Now we know the sizes of all the matrices and we know the variable vector. Let us fill the A matrix first. So as I have already mentioned, A matrix can be partitioned as G, B, C and D sub matrices. So what will be the size of A matrix? It is 4 by 4. Size of G matrix will be number of nodes by number of nodes. So it is 3 by 3. So first we can see what is the G matrix. It is a 3 by 3 matrix. The diagonal entries can be easily written by adding the elements resistances connected to each node. To node number 1 you have 3 resistances connected. So that if you take the reciprocals of the elements connected, it will be 2 plus 4 plus 8. Okay, so it is simply 6 plus 8, 14. So 14 will be the first diagonal entry. Then the second diagonal entry will be determined by the resistances connected to second node. So it is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 plus, sorry, 4 plus reciprocal of 1 by 4 is 4, 4 plus 5 plus so it is 12 then coming to third diagonal entry it is sum of the reciprocals of resistances connected to node 3 so it is 1 by 3 ohm and 1 by 8 ohm so it is 3 plus 8 11 so these are the entries in the diagonal entries of G matrix then coming to the half diagonal entries between node number 1 and node number 2 we have 1 by 4 ohm so this position will be minus 4 between node number 1 and node number 3 we have 1 by 8, so this first row, third column will be minus 8, negative of reciprocal. Then again between node number 2 and 1 it is minus 4, node number 3 and 1 it is minus 8. Then coming to the element between node 2 and 3 it is 1 by 3, so it is minus 3 here and minus 3 here. So we got the entries of G matrix by inspection without writing any relations. Now coming to B matrix, size of B matrix will be 3 by 1 number of rows equal to number of nodes and number of columns equal to independent voltage source. So what will be the B matrix? We have three rows corresponding to three nodes in B matrix. 
and we have one column corresponding to this three volt voltage source the three volt source three volt independent source so the positive plate of the three volt source is connected to node number three so node row three will have a plus one the other entries are zero then c matrix will be simply the transpose of d matrix so you have zero zero one then what will be the d matrix d matrix is a zero matrix of size one by one because you have only one independent source so it is simply zero so we got all the matrices e b c and d then we need to write the right hand side column vector so the right hand side vector is z the size of z matrix will be four by one since you have three nodes and one independent voltage source it is three plus one so four by one matrix so the first three entries corresponds to the three nodes the independent current source is coming to the three nodes so to the first node you have one independent source coming two ampere is coming into one node one so it is q is the first entry then coming to the second node there is no independent current source coming into node two so the entry is zero then corresponding to node three there is no independent current source coming to node three so it is again zero the last row fourth row corresponds to i v1 the current through the independent voltage source so you have to fill the magnitude of the independent voltage source that is uh, corresponding to i v1 so the value of the independent voltage source corresponding to i v1 is simply 3 volt so the last entry is 3 so this is how we will fill the entries in a and z matrices by instruction thank you uh, we will consider more examples in the coming videos